What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are having a great start to your day. I was until I read this article this morning at the time of recording this here through the athletics. So, guys, I will have it in the description down below. I highly recommend you read this or try to read it through a secondary source in case that you don't pay the monthly for the athletic, whatever it's going to be. But there's a lot to unravel here and a lot more negative than any positive things regarding the New York Mets and really another type of scandal, if you will, going back to the times in the Wolpons era, but how it's also starting to trickle down and connect with team president sandy alderson so that's what i'll be breaking down in today's video everything that you should really know in a nutshell about this article my stance on it and how it could potentially impact this club not just now but going forward led by sandy alderson so yeah a lot of things to break down so make sure you stay all the way until the end video final the details and all my thoughts on this article and what it means and if you guys end up enjoying this kind of mets content and want to see more great mets content like this please make sure to smash that like and subscribe on share this video with your friends put on the notification bell all those great things but Without further ado, let's get right into this video. All right, guys. So again, please make sure you check out the article after watching this video because I want you to know exactly everything that was broken down because I'm not going to go everything word by word. I'm going to summarize it and share my stance on how it could really impact the Mets right now because the old regime, we all knew it was terrible. That isn't a surprise. But this article in a nutshell is by multiple former employees or current employees within the Mets organization that dealt with harassment or different types of hardship that were willing to speak to the athletic. And it's unfortunate in the sense of I feel like, of course, now that the Wolpons are out as ownership now, all the writers are jumping on the Mets right to focus on the old regime it's like they simply can't get a break between not just Mickey Callaway even though that was previous Mets regime right but Jared Porter current Mets regime that was a bad look a lot of things have not gone the Mets way this offseason even with having a great owner with Gaylin Lindor doing all these things it wasn't picture perfect by any stretch of the imagination it was all because of these scandals but what we are seeing now is a very thorough article on multiple people that were in the Mets organization for quite a long period of time higher ups in different types of branches whether it be marketing among other things that really were caught for doing different types of sexual harassment whether it be comments or whether it be even touching a lot on all these different lines so you have a lot of these employees speaking out and this is all connected because right around march 19th if my memory serves me correct for, through the article steve cohen the mets new owner we all love him uncle steve right gave out an email to all of his employees within the mets organization stating how there's an investigation that's going to be going down by as a firm that i hired and we're going to be emphasizing sexual harassment misconduct anything that could become offensive that has really rubbed off the wrong way and really narrowed down on people that should not be in this organization anymore really draining the swamp if you will but instead of it from a government side of things really doing it within the Mets organization and I love that it's not an easy thing to do overnight you can't really get rid of them all in one uh one uh you know swing of things but they're getting close they've been doing a great job and I highly commend Steve Cohen for everything that he has done thus far during his time as owner a lot of people have been out of the way and starting off a guy that was highlighted in his article before we get on to Sandy Alderson you need to know what leads up to this point and that is Joe DeVito Joe DeVito was the head executive producer for content and marketing for the Mets for quite a period of time but DeVito ended up stepping down right as the season started for the Mets after being with them for quite amount of time for personal reasons going forward with his life but he did not state the fact that there are lawsuits going against him by more than one employee that was either with him during his time with the Mets or around him within the organization and different types of harassment things like that so DeVito is gone just an example of you know the Porters the Callaways all these different people right but then you go on even further and the main guy that we really need to talk about that is connected with Sandy Alderson here is David Newman Newman is the chief marketing officer for the Mets and it was from the span of 2005 to 2018 now what has happened in that span well that's the big thing seven different employees for the Mets organization both men and women have openly stayed to the athletics so again this is something going to the athletics something the Mets obviously Obviously, did not want to come into an article because it gives them a bad light no one wants this right but it happened so let's talk about it they have stated how there's been a lot of different types of harassment going on with David Newman during his time up until 2018 really over a 10 year span during his time with the Mets as the chief there and a lot of bad things whether it be the comments that he's giving to women um ways suggesting that sh they should be wearing you know giving them comments about their attitude if they're pregnant all these different things not a good look in a nutshell and the biggest controversy now with Sandy Alderson the Mets new president after being with them from the span of 2010 to 2018 he comes back with Steve Cohen is he then hires David Newman again in November 2020 right when they came back in new ownership and there were multiple women including this one woman in particular again I highly recommend you check out the article find out all the specifics but we're really griping about please don't bring David Newman back he was such a headache he was such a problem really was a terrible human being to us please do not bring him back and Sandy said that it was 
obviously there's no defending what Newman did and that he's bringing him back in, but he's going to make sure that, you know, he gets his shit together. He gets his act together, right? There's going to be no leash with him whatsoever, but he does not feel that he's deserving of being, you know, executed, terminated right away. So that really rubbed up a lot of people the wrong way, including myself, because look, uh, Sandy made it clear in the article that his defense towards this was that, you know, people are getting executed left and right for having some type of interaction with a woman that maybe isn't the most positive thing. And I understand it. Not everyone that say gets um, a bad, gives out a bad comment randomly or just has a mistake happen is deserving of having their whole life being ruined, fired, you know, canceled in today's terms, all those great things. I 100% agree with that. That's fully factual in my mind at least but now that we're in 2020 and we're in this new regime with steve cohen who is literally doing an investigation and has been pushing this narrative this movement that this is a new regime we're not going to stand this is a breath of fresh air we're not going to have this be a bad thing it's a new culture change in town so how is that going to resonate well with sandy alderson here because sandy gave the benefit of the doubt to david newman who has a track record according to multiple mets employees and it's probably even farther than that we've only seen seven employees or so that actually comment through the athletic state how bad of a person this guy is at least from the workplace standpoint i don't know how he is in his personal life right but things have not been looking good and now this can really have a bad mark on the Mets not just now but going forward should Sandy stay because it kind of really contradicts what Steve Cohen is all about you know he was so adamant in getting rid of Jared Porter and people griped about Jared Porter my ad when nothing has even fully happened with Callaway yet that's still underway so I think that's a joke that everyone gave a big deal about uh, Porter not getting fired right away they had to do a quick investigation and then get it done it only took like five hours so that was a joke but that's a side note my point now is that this is very contradictive for the Mets and their new look it's going to give that LOL Mets effect again it's not going to resonate well within the clubhouse. The players know about this now. And Sandy Alderson, I don't think he's a bad guy whatsoever, but I don't know him personally. And who knows if he's maybe giving a longer leash to other guys because he just has a personal good track record with them, knows the job that they're doing. So if Newman has not been doing anything terrible to start off this season with the Mets, then great. That's perfect. You know, even though that he was doing bad things for the span of 2005 to 2018, if he's a changed man now, that's perfect. But the fact is you still have plenty of workers within the Mets organization that already have been rubbed off terribly on him that are really in battles with him mentally where they even get like PTSD. I'm not even joking. This is according to them at least. It's a big deal. So how are the Mets going to go about it? In my mind, I will be fairly surprised if Sandy Alderson is the team president for the remainder of the season. I think that this is another hit piece that again, it sucks. It really looks like the Mets are constantly being singled out now that the Wolpons are no longer owners. That's a joke. The media are trying to jump on them as much as they can. Would have been nice if this happened during the Wolpons era, but they were either scared. And now that you get a happy Steve Cohen in as owner, who's the richest owner in baseball right he's worth a lot of money multiple billions we know this now that you see a new regime come in and looking like that they're going to be in the next face of the mlb coincidentally you see all these scandals tend to happen in, in a row you know it really kind of it makes me think was this set up to an extent i'm not sure i'll leave that for you guys to figure out in the comments below but that in a nutshell is what happened here and i'm really not looking forward to what's next so sandy Alderson, he's either going to stay as team president he may take a leave of absence if the investigation continues and they really go harder on alderson i don't know but in a nutshell shell to hear these comments from sandy while he's not wrong whatsoever depending on the severity of the situation you can't defend what has happened but it is true you should not just fire anyone jump to the gun right away without knowing the full story or at least maybe giving someone a second chance i'm all for that i'm not for just canceling someone right away i think that's a terrible thing in today's society when they aren't at least given somewhat of a benefit of the doubt but in this scenario there really isn't much benefit of the doubt to be given in my mind and it's not a good look for sandy it's not a good look for steve cohen so we may very well see the end of steve Co uh, sandy alderson pardon me and the new regime with the Mets for his part two with the Mets going back from 2010 to 2018 to now this season. So guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. How do you feel about this whole ordeal with the Mets? Do you think it is going to affect Sandy Alderson? Do you think he very well could step down, be fired, be put on a leave of absence or something along those lines because he really did give a leash to Newman when in reality there are numerous Mets employees that did not want him back in the organization for more reasons than one. Please let me know all your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, if you guys enjoyed this Mets content, you're excited for the great Mets content here on the channel including amazing vlog because i was at every single game and the mets sweep of the series the three game what would have been a four game series had there not been uh, rained out yesterday at the time of recording this against the phillies i was at all those games a massive vlog should be coming out later today so stay tuned for that guys i hope you enjoy but thank you all so much again hit that like hit that subscribe button share this video with your friends on the notification bell all those great things and also let me know again your thoughts in the comments below i want to hear your stance on this thank you all so much again guys and of course let's go mets